good morning everybody dave in kentucky and yes it is friday and still a little early so we're gonna get a shave in today doing sunday's shave today actually <clears throat> when i say sundays i mean uh i said last sunday when i did a video i said uh, the next sunday i'd probably do the drawing well we're gonna do the drawing today for the v3 not the final cut but this is the version 3 as i explained had a slight issue with the base plate but you can be worked around and uh and be able to use it still so anyhow we're going to do that drawing after a bit here we are going to do a shave with sterling smoky grapefruit let me just set that over there nice clean citrus grapefruit scent with the smoke at it exactly as it says so we're going to use a sorrentino it's gonna call my clown puke uh, brush uh, this was a leftover from three different pours he was doing uh, the first time he poured his own blanks he did it on uh, did it live on YouTube and this was what was left over from each of the three people that he was pouring for. So a very special one for me. And we're going to top off with some Florida water. Since we're doing a citrus, this is a, more of a spicy vibe to me, but it's considered a citrus too. And the shave today is going to be what I had said I was going to do the next Sunday, which was this uh, new to me, D injector razor. So... If you're not familiar with those, this is the one that has the scissor opening. It's a pretty cool to get it. This was, um, let's see, D, it would have been the first one that was in the injector style because uh, they went from the A, B, and C, which was the magazine repeating razor company. And that's what it says right on the inside there. You probably can't make out. You can see there's embossing, but you can't read it probably. Made by magazine repeating razor company, New York says on there so nice molded case and I'm very happy to have this razor so as I said this was the scissor style you swing it like that opens like a scissor and then it folds open uh, which is why you get to the ease after this and the ease uh, a lot of those open up like that as well it is an injector razor you can use a key to protect the razor and keep it going i'm going to load mine by hand and close it up rather than playing with the injector key on this probably wouldn't hurt it or damage it i'm just trying to be extra safe i don't want anything to happen to this baby So I've got it clamped in there, close it. I've shaved with it one time. Make sure that's in just a little further. Let me slide that blade over where it needs to be, I think. Anyway, let me wet my face and I'll start loading the brush. So I had uh, someone over on the shaving room had asked me when he saw I got it to uh, compare it to my F razor. And so I did get one shave in with it. And uh, just a second, I'll show you the F compared to it and what my initial thoughts were and then what I actually found to be the case when I used it. That's enough. Let me set that there. Okay, so here's my F, uh, the aluminum one. What I found is, um, obviously, when you hold them next to each other, the F, um, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's a wider from here to here. It's a bigger head, but when you hold them next to each other, and you line the front up, to me, they're 
I guess what I'm trying to get at is the exposure seemed identical, the gap seemed identical. It's just this head is not as deep. You've got all this aluminum here. Anyway, so other than that, ob the obvious, uh, which would be the handle, is obviously different shaped. It's not as thick, so it feels different to hold it, but that wasn't a big deal. What I did find is, it surprised me, is that the D was much more aggressive, quote unquote aggressive, it had more blade feel. And to me is probably the most aggressive uh, injector out of the ones I've tried. So typical, beautiful lather from Sterling. on my glasses Eric had put this synthetic knot in it it's a white one a lot of times I'll use this uh, when I use my clown puke soap which is basically remnants of samples and soaps <clears throat> near finished in a tub that all get moved together Eventually makes up a, a tub with different colors and things since. All right, so here we go. The injector. And as I said, much more aggressive, uh, more blade feel than any other injector I have. And I have A through G and the M adjustable. And while more blade feel, it gives just a splendid shave. Nice, smooth, and close, like any injector. I would say it's the, you know, some people will say using an injector is cheating. This is the least <laughs> cheating injector there is. And that's my experience. When I commented on that on my uh, journal, over on uh, Damn Fine Shave, another gentleman had commented that uh, that's exactly what he had found too. So, although I know I tend to be off my rocker, I'm not completely off it in this case. Never did hear back from the original gentleman that asked. So I don't know if he was just curious or trying to confirm his thoughts. I don't know. <clears throat> mm. reason I wanted to do the drawing today, and we'll get to it in a minute, is I'm going to have a busy weekend, so. I didn't want Sunday to come and then find out I didn't have time to do it, and people are looking for it, and it's not there.
as I said, the uh, subscription numbers for my YouTube channel. I never expected to be huge ever, but um, been fluctuating as you'd expect. It's you know when you don't have uh, one point seven thousand view <laughs> subscribers. And you see some go unsubscribed. And I know why um, I've done that because it's a something you watched, you subscribed, you wanted to see a few videos, but then uh, you have too many getting suggested for you in your, in your subscription. So I understand that. But with mine, <laughs> when you only have a handful really, you see the fluctuation, but uh, notice we're up to 161. So thank you. If new viewers, um, there's a mechanic does uh, repairs in Florida that I watch. I love how he opens his always. He always says, um, hello, welcome. Uh, welcome back. And if this is your first time, just welcome. <laughs> But that was funny. What do you think about that, YouTube? I think it's funny. Anyway, so we'd like to say thank you to all those that subscribed recently. Some are ones that uh, may have been watching and just remembered to subscribe now. I won a group of razors. A lot purchase. Let me add a little water. Yesterday I did not anticipate to. It has a shake sharp in it that I already have. I have the gold MK2. I have the Bakelite MK1. This is a Bakelite, so I don't know if it's the MK1 or the 1.5. So I'm hoping it's not a duplicate. And I can semi-complete my collection of those. I'm missing the nickel MK2. And the 1.5 fake light. Anyway, this is a group of 15 cased razors. And I bring it up because it has some I did not. think about because I'll probably sell the ones that uh, are duplicates. There are some um, single edges in there that I already have. Two ABC pocket razors and cases. It's not the, it's just the standard handles, not the fancy ones, but uh, has the cases as least, at least. But it also has an E I'll have to see if it's the correct razor in it, but an injector in the Imperial, Imperial injector razor case. This is where I feel that blade feel on the, against the grain. Nice 
nice close shave. Jake's and that baby there on the jawline. Okay, so there you have it. The D injector. wasn't really paying attention to the soap <clears throat> so nice citrus scent like I said the grapefruit uh, I was hoping I'd catch the smoky a little more I can catch it lightly on the tub um, but that's my fault I wasn't paying attention to it I was trying to pay attention to that razor Which again has a nice feel to it. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Keep it nice and shiny. Almost looks like it hadn't been used, but I know it was because uh, it came with a uh, twin twin blade in it, which I'm not going to continue to use twins in it like they did. I'll save that for my end. Oh yeah, I have an end razor too injector. I forgot about that. All right, let's rinse this brush out. And, um, oh, you're still there, YouTube? Good. You're probably waiting for the drawing, aren't you? <laughs> We're going to do it in a second here. Let me get my aftershave on. We had six people enter. say what am I setting this thing we'll put it right there <clears throat> all right again going with the Florida water this pours out pretty fast this is in the glass bottle fortunate to have a couple years ago somebody gifted that to me in the glass bottle it's not like it's expensive. It's just hard to find in the glass bottle still. Do you have to have glass? No, but I like it. Okay. So I think I got in order <clears throat> the people that were going to be in the drawing. Again, it was just six. Um, got uh, them listed there. So you can pause and look at it if you want, because I don't do editing on my videos. Yeah, Cliff Barker, BW Macho underscore Walden underscore and Marco Sorelli Sorelli I'm gonna butcher these names some of them sorry um, and then we have a couple from out of the states and this could cost me a fortune to mail them I don't know but I hate that uh, so many times it's always continental US or US and Canada so I wanted to give these uh, these guys a chance too so I've got uh, Gyala Laszlo Talco from Transylvania and uh, Julius Yu from Finland. So all, f all six people are in the drawing. I'll set that down. And I had this set up on the phone. So let's see. Okay. So you'll see I have the generator set up. Minimum one, maximum six. I'm at step one, and let's hit generate. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, goodness, what did I do? Oh, I had length 1000, so let me just erase all those list length. We want a one. Let's reset. Let's reset the whole thing. Sorry, it had a slew of numbers. Okay, minimum one. I don't use these generators often. I'll roll some dice or something, but I thought if I roll the dice down here, you don't see it on the video. 
want everybody to know it's on the up and up. Okay. <sighs> Minimum one, maximum six, step one, list length one. Generate. Looks like number one. Who is number one? Cliff Barker. So Cliff Barker, you are the winner. And I may have your address. Seems like I've dealt with uh, Cliff dealt with. Either I've bought things from him or he's bought from me or something in the past, but maybe not. So Cliff, if you would uh, message me. Um, I was going to say, I don't know if my email, I'll try to make sure my email is down in the, um, try to remember to put it down in the comments below. Where are we at? 21 minutes. Goodness. Hey, it's a giveaway. Get over it. 21 minutes. Uh, <laughs> coffee. Sorry, YouTube. I'll try to make sure down in the comments I put my email so that uh, you can send me your shipping information. Uh, if it's easier for you, you can over on DFS uh, message me there or over on the Shave Den. Um, those are probably the two easiest places that I know you are at on the forum. So anyway, uh, congratulations, Cliff. Thanks everybody for being a part of that. And I will get that out to you uh, by Monday, the latest, I would think. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out today or tomorrow. Um, but by Monday, I'll have that out. So Dave in Kentucky, great shave. Uh, love having the D added to my collection. Hope you all have a great day. Be kind, be safe out there, and we'll see you guys on the forums.